Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. Welcome to today's olive green smoky eye makeup tutorial. If you want to see how I got from this to this, then just keep watching. The first thing you're going to want to do is prime your eyes. I'm using a concealer. This is just because I do have veins on my eyes that I definitely want to cover up. And now I'm just making sure I set that. The first shadow I'm using is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. This is just a nice flush of color to map out your crease. The next color I'm putting in my crease is Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. This is the last color going into my crease. I'm just going to be intensifying and blending and intensifying. So I'm hooked on the new Beyonce album. I just want you guys to know that. Um, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm going back in with Peach Smoothie and I'm blending out my crease and the tops of my eyeshadows and then I'm just winging it out towards the outer crease area. And now here I am just going back in with Cocoa Bear again, just darkening up my crease. And here I am blending. Again, this look does require a lot of blending, but it's definitely worth it. I'm just diffusing the very tops of my eyeshadow with Peach Smoothie and now for the lid shade, the olive green star of the show. This is Ritzy from Makeup Geek. It's one of their duo chrome eyeshadows. This one has a brown and green reflect effect to it. So it's a beautiful color. I'm pretty much bringing this right up to my crease and now I'm just intensifying it on the outer corners with some more Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. And now I'm just blending again with one of my favorite Morphe brushes just to make sure the edges of my eyeshadow are really soft and diffused. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm using this Maybelline Single Shadow in the shade Champagne Fizz. Now I'm leaving my eyes alone and I'm starting on my face. I am using my favorite Ride or Die primer. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. And now I'm using two foundations, a darker one on the perimeter and areas where I would contour, and then a lighter one on places where I would highlight. To highlight my face, I'm using this Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. I swear you guys, this is one of the best concealers on the market. So after we finish blending that in, you want to make sure you set your concealer. I'm using a lighter colored powder on the areas where I concealed and highlighted. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just using something a little bit darker. Now that my face is set, I'm going back in with Cocoa Bear, pretty much running that the whole length of my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to flick it up and out towards the edges just to connect that wing shape and make it all look right. And then I'm going back in with Peach Smoothie, again from Makeup Geek, just to soften out the edges. And now I'm just putting that green ritzy color right in the middle of my lower lash line. And now I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl and put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead and add up my favorite lashes, which are the Wispies from Ardell, to my top lashes, obviously. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tight line and line my waterline with some brown eyeliner just to make sure those lashes all blend in. I just wanted to go ahead and contour, kind of chisel out those cheekbones, if you know what I'm saying. I'm using a NYX matte bronzer. I'm just also going to run that down my neck and on the temples of my forehead as well as my nose. And then I wanted to be even more bronzy, so I'm using Heat Wave from Hard Candy. This one just has a really nice glow to it, so I wanted to add that in there. 
And then for blush, I'm using Rose de Oro from Milani. It's just a beautiful rose toned blush with some gold reflex. And then to highlight, I'm using the highlighting palette from Tarte. To line my lips, I'm using Whirl from MAC, and then to finish off this entire look, I wanted something pinky nude, so I'm using a Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Flush. Honestly, I think that's my favorite song out of the whole album, but this is the finished look, guys. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're curious about any of the products that I used or mentioned, just check out the description box because, as always, I will have a full list of everything that I used on my face in the description box. Make sure you guys come find me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would love to chat with you guys, so come find me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.